gaming keyboards, gaming mice, gaming headsets, gaming chairs. All these items have been designed to enhance the performance or experience of games. And while gaming keypads have also been around a while, few have been able to truly replace the keyboard with the exception of a few niche games. Well, Azeron sent me their newest gaming keypad, which they say will revolutionize the way you play with keyboard and mouse. I'm talking about the Azeron Cyborg. Let's talk about it. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Now for full disclosure, Azeron did send me the Cyborg free of cost. However, I reached out to them and this was sent to me only on loan. All my reviews are honest and my thoughts are my own. Cue the unboxing montage. Now the Cyborg is like I said a gaming keypad, however due to the sheer number of buttons and articulations that equal a click or a button push in this case, it's almost a gaming keyboard. Every single finger articulation equals a click, whether it's a push, a click down, a kick forward, a pull back, or a raised pull back, or a kick straight up, or a juke side to side including the, uh, the left thumbstick which is a fully functional with also a press down, we have a d-pad also and we also have a left kick. And I call them kicks whenever we're removing my fingers from the buttons and going up to the side or up to the top because there's, there's also a button to be pushed there. Now the first thing you'll notice on the bottom is that there's a lot of, of screw holes and this is for your individual adjustment because this can be adjusted forward, back, left, right, as in inside narrow and also this is a fully adjustable. Even the angle of individual fingers is going to be exactly the way you configure it. Every single bit of distance, how far your fingers want to curl, however you want to do it, is going to be completely set up by you. Even the positioning of the thumbstick is going to be the exact angle, distance, every, every single three-dimensional. So they, there's a lot of engineering that went into this. Included with your keypad is an absurdly high quality screwdriver, which you will need for the adjustment of the cyborg. While I'm not complaining, I don't understand the business logic of including a screwdriver that would easily cost $40 on the retail market. Even the bits are laser etched with the Azeron logo. Since every aspect of the configuration of the cyborg requires a screwdriver, I guess it makes sense. The first thing you'll end up doing is turning the unit upside down to begin sizing and adjusting the cyborg to match your hand and preferences. You are able to adjust every aspect of the positioning, angle, and distance from the palm rest so that you have every part of the keypad exactly how you want it for maximum comfort, speed, or whatever. The goal of the cyborg is to eliminate the need to hunt and peck for particular keys that correspond to actions or movements in game. Nearly every movement of your hand will correlate to a button push, which feels more like a light mouse click rather than a button push on a keyboard. Keys are very low resistance and feel high quality, despite sounding like Predator arguing on the phone. The keypad is software driven and you can configure all of the features through Azeron software. Every button and even the movements of the thumbstick are controlled through the software. You can have as many profiles as you want and each profile can have its own mapping so that you can quickly switch between button layouts for various games. I found this particularly necessary when switching between characters in Overwatch, or when switching from Overwatch to say Warzone. Now what do I think of the Azeron? Well, first off this is magnificently engineered. You can tell that a lot of work went into the design, a lot of it's 3D printed, and the buttons are all real high quality, which you wouldn't expect that, you know, because of the light clicking, but it's just, it's really good tactile response. Once you get this set up to your hand, unlike on a keyboard, I, I tend to have to adjust the angle of my keyboard depending on my play style or what game I'm playing. But with the Azeron, once I kind of feel locked in and you really don't have to move, and I was able to, you know, not get a whole lot of my wrist fatigue, which I normally get on keyboard and mouse. And if you're coming from a controller background, you're really gonna love this. If you find yourself hunting and pecking for um, or, or clicking the wrong buttons often on keyboard, you probably find that this is a, a solid option for you. There is a bit of a learning curve. 
you do have to get used to this because you're retraining your muscle memory in which you usually have kind of a good idea of where the keys are on the keyboard. Well here you're going to get reused to where which key does what, pull back, forward. So it's a bit foreign at first, having to pull forward or kick up, go to the sides. Those are now actions that you might have attributed to WASD, uh, Shift, Control, Left, Left, Alt, all of the different number keys. And you're instead going to be relearning a bit here. Once you do, for each individual game you play, you're going to realize that your speed and comfort and your ease of access for different keys is going to go up phenomenal. So I would agree that someone who has the patience to get the hang of this, to go through the setup process, to configure it to your hand, um, it can give you a competitive edge because I found myself not making the same mistakes or pressing the wrong keys or having to you know, avert my gaze down to the keyboard because I, I have to use visual cues. I even have my RGB, you know, have the WASD and different keys um, color coded because I'm gonna look down every once in a while to make sure I'm hitting the right key. Well, with this one, it's, it's all feel and memorization. And you just start, you don't have to memorize as much. You can remember pinky back, pinky step back, which I call you know jumping up to the next level of the staircase, or uh, index finger kick up. And so I'm, I'm memorizing that in my mind as opposed to W key equals this or one key equals this. And so you're taking a lot of the the thought process out and making it more instinctive, which I think is is pretty cool. Is the Azeron Cyborg right for you? Well, that's difficult to answer. With a price point ranging from $180 to $230, depending on how you customize it, it really depends on how much of a competitive edge you think you can get from the keypad, which could be astronomical or it could be minimal. Also, how important is a competitive edge or ergonomics to you? That's really the real question you have to ask. If your answers are that those are important, then that price point can often be reasonable. Speaking as an entertainer and gamer, I can tell you that at the time of this filming, there is a market for people that are interested to watch gamers on, say, Twitch, that are playing with the Azeron Cyborg and other Azeron products and keypads and seeing how they do as opposed to players that are playing with mouse and keyboard. So there is that to take into consideration if you are part of that market. Getting your Azeron keypad is all about customization. Once you go to the Azeron website, which you can get the link in the description, you'll choose whether you want the Cyborg, which I reviewed today, or the Classic, or the Compact, whichever one you like. Once you click Order Now, you can begin customizing your Cyborg. You can go to Customize Now and you can choose individual keys to be different colors, however you want to make it your own. In Keys and Accents, there is an additional cost to customize, but you just click on a color, and then you can click the key to be that color. You can even change the nameplate to be whatever you want. So I can change mine to Nico. And once you add it to cart, it does raise the price because we did customize some things, so it's 205. And then of course, like it says, it's gonna include the Azeron screwdriver. Also included is the thumbstick replacements and other parts that you might want for customization. Once they're done assembling it, they'll ship it out to you. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Thank you, Azeron, for loaning me your product. I like reviewing new gadgets. I hope you found this review helpful, and if you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I'll see you next time.